Hello, my name is Graham Sexton, um, and I'd like to take you through um, a small number of slides today to uh, give you some examples about how you can use Shannon's law to calculate the bit capacity of a communications line. Um, and uh, hopefully you, you will have already seen um, the Shannon's formula um, describing how you do this calculation. It's uh, very simple um, and there are not many components in the uh, formula um, and it's the sort of formula that you could probably commit to memory. Um, uh, so what we have, um, we have um, uh, three, if you like, input parameters. Um, we have, first of all, the um, system bandwidth. Um, what that represents is the range of frequencies that can travel down the communications line. And you can calculate this very simply by looking at the maximum frequency and subtracting from that the lowest frequency that can travel down the communications line. But often in questions, you would simply be told what the bandwidth of the line is. Um, what you need to be careful with, I suppose, is um, to realize that if you're told, for example, the uh, bandwidth is um, 20 megahertz, then you must remember that's 20 million hertz um, and not just simply put in the number 20 into the formula. Um, the um, components inside the bracket, the S over N, that really represents the signal to noise ratio, S being the signal power level and N being the noise power level. So that represents the signal to noise ratio. Um, what you have to be careful with there is to realize that this, the signal to noise ratio in this formula um, needs to be represented in linear terms so that if you're given the values in logarithmic terms, you need to um, first of all convert those to linear terms. Um, and the other issue to take care with is um, to notice that the log is log base 2 rather than um, a, a normal log base 10. So we have to be careful how we calculate our log base 2s. Um, and that's one of the first things we're, we're going to have a look at, how you calculate um, log base 2 of some number. So um, most of your calculators won't actually have um, log based to ca uh, calculations on, um, but we can calculate log base two of, uh, of something uh, using the formula that I have on this page just here. Um, so we can just use the, uh, the, the log 10 functions that you already have. Um, so let, let's just try this on a really simple example where we might want to calculate um, log base two of the number two. Now this is a nice easy one to, to handle because um, we know that um, uh, log, base, um, log base two of two is one. So let's just slot those numbers in. So um, the, the, the formula would look like uh, after substituting the numbers in, so we'd get log 10 of two divided by log 10 of 2. And of course, we can immediately see that the answer is 1. Um, but let's just for the sake of argument, actually take this through the calculation. So if you calculate log 10 of 2, it's approximately 0.3. So that's equal to 0 0.3 divided by, of course, 0 0.3 which equals one. So if you're required to um, uh, do a question in an exam um, and you don't have log two on your calculator, th this is how you'd uh, calculate the log base two of um, a number. So let's take a look at a couple of examples of how we do this calculation. So here's our first example, and I'll just read that out for you. If the signal to noise ratio of a wireless communication link is 10 dB and the RF bandwidth is 20 megahertz, determine the maximum theoretical data rate in bits per second that could be transmitted. So just let's have a look at the quantities that were given in the question. Um, and we can see that we have um, two 
parameters given. First of all, the bandwidth, which is 20 megahertz. So that's this value here. And we have also been given the signal to noise ratio. So the signal to noise ratio is 10 dBs. And that is this value here, the whole of the signal to noise ratio. We're not given the signal power and the noise power separately, but we're given them as a ratio. And that's absolutely fine. We can work nicely with that. So how do we take this forwards? Well, let's do a substitution of the values into the equation. So um, we can say C equals, first of all, the bandwidth value, which is 20. And I'm going to just for shorthand write times 10 to the power 6 to represent um, 20 megahertz. And that's multiplied by times by log base 2 of 1 plus the signal to noise ratio. Now the signal to noise ratio has been given to us in terms of dBs. Now what I mentioned in the previous slide, we can't insert logarithmic values into this equation as it stands here and we have to convert that to a linear value. Now, you may recall from your work with, uh, with dB values that actually it turns out that 10 dBs is in fact a ratio of 10. So um, it's a quite a simple, straightforward uh, substitution. I won't do the calculation on the, the page here. You can go back and check that yourself. So we'll put 10 in there. So remember that the 10 that I've just written there is not 10 dBs, but a linear ratio of 10 because it is the same as 10 dBs. So what we need to do now is actually to calculate the log of uh, 10 plus one, log base two of 10 plus one, which is um, 11. Um, so let's rewrite that as 20 times by 10 to the power six times by log base 2 of 11. So if you recall how we calculate log base 2 when we don't have a calculator with the log base 2 function, um, we can do it. And I'm just going to do this to the side of the page here. So we would calculate log base 2 of 11 is equal to log is 10 of 11 divided by log base 10 of 2. And we know <clears throat> that that is approximately um, log base 11 divided by 0.3. Now I do need to calculate um, the log of 11. Okay, so for me to calculate log of 11, I do need my calculator for that. So I've done that on my calculator. And the log of 11 is 1.04 approximately. And, and I'm now going to divide that by um, divide that by 0.3. And that equals 3.47. So we're just going to write that into the equation here. 3.47. And rewrite the 20 times 10 to the power 6. And, and I'm sort of going to multiply that on my calculator. 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that would be now looking at the question. It's saying, it's requesting what the bandwidth is in bits per second, not megabits per second. So I get an answer of 69,426,179 bits per 
second. Okay, so that's the first example um, and shows you how to handle the data if you're presented with a signal to noise ratio and um, in dBs and, and a bandwidth in megahertz. So let's take a look at another example now. So we've changed how we present the data slightly. Um, this time the question reads, if the signal power in a wireless communications link is 45 dBm, the noise power is 25 dBm, and the RF bandwidth is 10 megahertz, determine the maximum theoretical data rate in kilobits per second that could be transmitted. So once again, let's just write down the data that we have. So for the bandwidth, the bandwidth is 10 megahertz. So I'll write that down. 10 times 10 to the power 6. And of course, that's C equals. And that's multiplied by log base 2 of 1, whoops, 1 plus the signal to noise ratio. Now what I've been given is the signal power and the noise power. So I'm just going to do a little calculation to the side here. So my signal power is 45 dBm and my noise power is 25 dBm. So if you remember how to handle this to work out the signal to noise ratio you simply take the difference between the signal level and the power level and that gives us 20 dbs that's the difference between the signal and the power now what you should hopefully remember is that in linear terms is equal to a ratio of a hundred times so I'm just going to substitute 100 into this equation there. So that's that value just pushed into there. So we're now faced with the calculation. This should be a bit more straightforward. 10 times 10 to the power 6 times log base 2 of 101. Okay, so once again, uh, I need um, my calculator's help to calculate the logs for this. So if you remember, the way we're going to calculate log base 2 is to say it's equal to log base 10 of 101 divided by 0.3. Now just remember that's, a, that's fairly approximate. Log base 10 of 2 is not exactly 0.3 but it's close to 0.3 um, and if you just want to commit that to memory that, that's a useful thing so let's just take a look at log 101 um, I just need to cancel that log 101 equals right so that's equal to 2.004 we then divide that by 0.3 and we get 6.68 approximately so that's 10 times 10 to the power 6 times by 6.68 so we should be able to see that this is approximately anywhere 66.8 megabits per second but if we look at the question the question is asking for the bit rate in kilobits per second so the bit rate in kilobits per second is 8 kilobits oh sorry it's my writing kilobits per second 
Okay, so that completes the two examples um, coming at it from slightly different viewpoints. Uh, ultimately, the calculations are essentially the same in both cases, but um, you just it's just slightly different data handling. So I hope uh, these two examples have been helpful for you. And, you know, if you have any further questions about these examples, um, please contact me directly um, with uh, email. Thanks very much for listening.